Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Super pumped that you clicked on this video today. We're gonna be talking about all of the food that I've been eating to stay on track while I've been MIA from YouTube. So I have been recording all my food as usual, because I always do that. I'm always taking pictures or videoing it. I've been saving the clips because I haven't been posting. The last couple weeks I've been so, so busy because I'm working on my coaching program that is going to be launching like really soon really, really soon. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. You will get the chance to work with me and we will crush your goals, get you motivated, get you where you need to go. So if you feel stuck, if you've been on the yo-yo diet trend that we've all been on, I feel like I was definitely there, where you just can't seem to lose the weight, you can't seem to get yourself motivated, you can't seem to get it. It's not clicking and you're like, why isn't this working? I got you. I've been there. I have done this diet three times, three times. Once for my wedding, once after my son was born, and once after my daughter was born. Yes, I've got two kids, and I'm at my goal weight right now maintaining, and I just wanna help every single, every single one of you guys out there that is also struggling, there is a better way. Don't keep spinning your wheels. Don't keep wasting your time. If you are not signed up for my email list yet, it will be linked down below in the description box and you will need to click that and just get added to my email list and then when I launch my crow program very shortly, you will get all the information before anybody else when you're on my email list. So I'm really excited to work with you all. Get on that email list. Don't even waste another second but then come back and watch the rest of this video. Also, like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Everything low carb here, a lot of motivation, diet tips, let's get you to your goals. I'll help you with that on this channel as well. So here's what I've been eating lately. First recipe is gonna be a tomato basil mozzarella salad with a couple extra things that I just like to put in there just for some added crunch. So I love to do some cucumber and red onion as well. And I feel like this with a nice homemade balsamic dressing is perfection for like a quick and easy lunch. This is also great for on the go if you are going into work or you need to take a lunch somewhere. So highly recommend this one. It keeps really well in the fridge as well. So I love to meal prep this. And here I am just cutting up some fresh mozzarella cheese. That is key for here. And yeah, you see all the veggies and some fresh chopped basil. This is probably one of my go-to salads whenever I have fresh mozzarella in the house. So I love to season it up with some salt and pepper. And then also, you guys know, if you know you know, a little bit of garlic powder. I love putting this just on veggies. I think it just elevates it, brings it to the next level. Kicks it up a notch. Let's go with that. And then I'm gonna make an easy vinaigrette with literally olive oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then some balsamic vinegar. So I'm using two tablespoons here. You could probably cut back on this, but if you guys know, you know I love my dressing. So I love to have things swimming in dressing. So to only use this much is actually good for me, and I'm proud of myself. I love making it in like a little Tupperware like this and just shaking it up and spooning it right on top. I'm glad I took a lot of pictures beforehand because once I added the dressing and then once you mix it all together, it definitely does not look as pretty, but it tastes phenomenal. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a quick and easy salad to put together. And then I just remembered that I had avocado in the house and they were ripe and perfect, so I added a half in and it just added a little bit more healthy fat and I was in heaven. This is the perfect salad. Up next is a quick and easy bolognese sauce. So I actually followed Giada De Laurentiis. She just posted a Beyond Meat bolognese and it was phenomenal. So I made that and I'm gonna use it with the angel hair pasta that you see here. It's hearts of palm and that's it. It's so delicious. It tastes just like pasta. You can see here, it even looks like pasta. It's absolutely delicious. I highly recommend checking them out. I'll actually put their link in the description box in case you want to order some. It's very cheap, economical as well, and look how beautiful that is. Does that look low carb to you? It is, and it's amazing. Next one is going to be an all, I don't even know what you want to call it, all box dinner. Everything is something that you can get in your freezer section at the grocery store. I started off with these salmon fillets that actually came with their own sauce. And I'm gonna show you the nutritional facts. Really not bad at all. So definitely check your store to see what they've got for frozen foods because you might be surprised. 
And then for the side dishes, I'm just going really simple. This was a really hectic, busy work night for us, and this was just the perfect meal to stay on track. And I love these green giant veggies. The cauliflower rice is my favorite, and that broccoli is actually probably my favorite broccoli too. And just having these paired together for an easy, easy dinner that I literally did nothing to cook at all except throw in the microwave and throw in the oven, this was one of my favorite dinners. So I'm just putting the sauce into these little cups like this and then just putting them in the microwave so that they can warm up a little bit. And I made this for my husband as well. He had the broccoli and then I just made him some rice in the rice cooker. So it was literally the perfect easy weeknight dinner you could ever have. So this was mine with the cauliflower rice and I'm just pouring the sauce over it. This was pleasantly, surprisingly amazing. I would totally, totally eat this again. We actually are going to because I have more salmon in the freezer. Okay, the next one is gonna be a plant-based bratwurst. I know you guys have been seeing me eat a lot of plant-based things lately, but I can't help it, they're just so good. And it's also low carb, so you can see, if you are trying to cut back on meat, you can do it. I'm pairing it with the Sola brand buns. So they're not my favorite, but they do do the job when you want like a hot dog or a bratwurst like this. And I just like to do some chopped onion, and this mustard is my absolute favorite mustard ever. It's so delicious. If you can get your hands on it, highly recommend it. And this is also perfect for like an easy weeknight dinner as well. It's filling on its own, believe me, and it's just the perfect amount of carbs. So this wouldn't be a what I eat video if I did not include some fast food, you guys know me. So this is the new jalapeno popper chicken salad from Wendy's. It's so delicious, I would highly recommend this if you're, you know, looking for an easy on the go salad that's really, really good quality. I love Wendy's salads. And this one just had such great things in it. It had tomato, jalapeno, pepper jack cheese, bacon, and the best chicken ever. It's super, super juicy. I love it. The dressing that came with it is five carbs for the packet, and I hesitated using it, but then I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? If I were to put ranch or something like that on it that I had in my fridge, I, it would probably be five carbs anyway. So let me just live a little and use the dressing that came with it, and I'm so glad I did because it was really, really good. The little crouton pack that came with it, I was looking at it and I'm like, eh, I think it's too many croutons, so I just left that out and I didn't even miss it. So just put the lid on, shook it up, made a complete mess as usual, and enjoyed this salad. It was super delicious. Highly recommend. Wendy's has the best salads ever. And I included this sandwich in a previous video, but I'm gonna include it again because I've been eating this all the time. It has replaced my mayo sandwich. If you guys know that sandwich, then points for you. You've been around for a while. But this sandwich is just hummus and turkey and cheese and then a couple toppings. And I just think it's like, it's like a healthy version of the mayo sandwich that I used to eat all the time. So I just spread a little bit of hummus on each side of the bread, put on my turkey, Season that with some salt and add American cheese. I know, don't hate me for the American cheese, but I love turkey and American cheese. It's just phenomenal in my opinion. And then I'm just gonna also add on some tomato and lettuce. And then my secret ingredient is the balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze gets a lot of hate, especially in like the low carb diet community, but I think if you use it sparingly, it can be a really fun ingredient to incorporate into your recipes just to give a little punch of acidity and flavor and a little bit of sweetness, and I just love using it. So I've been eating this a lot, this sandwich. This is my go-to now, and I'm still maintaining. I'm still doing good on my weight loss journey. I haven't blown up because I'm trying to do low carb and eat balsamic glaze, so I think you'll be good if you wanna try it too. Lastly, I wanted to show, this is from my grocery haul from a while back, but I've repurchased this Archer brand jerky because it's so, so good. The carbs are low, it's got zero sugar, and it's probably the best jerky I've ever had. If you can find this, it was actually really cheap, but I had to include it here because I really, really love it. Thank you again guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out that link down below to get onto my email list. Coaching program coming ASAP. I'm so excited. I've never been more excited for anything in my life. Have an awesome day and I'll see you really soon. Bye guys.